Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to try driving that hay, that haze, hazy IPA from Destal Brewing. Um, driving that haze. Then there's something. I think it says TM. So trademark hazy IPA. Cashmere, Amarillo, and Simcoe hops. Um, I've never... I. Take that back. Maybe I have had one of these. It seems like I did, but maybe that was a Drecker. Could have been a Drecker. Never mind. Scratch that. Friend sent me this. I think he sent me a picture and I had the Drecker or something like that. So, not to get away from this. So, driving that haze, hazy IPA is what is on there so per the can 7% ABV 55 IBUs uh date on this 10 1 22 I don't know I hopefully this doesn't blow up I'm gonna show it to you hopefully you can kind of see it but it almost looks like the one starts here but I think it's 10 1 22. So if that's the case, uh, three months old. If it's 1 22, then we'll see. There we go. I'm gonna stop there. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about this, so a friend sent or stepped over and dropped this off. He sent me a picture of four, and there was a Drecker one, but I don't have a Drecker one down here. So, that must have been the one I, I had. I was going to say, there's a whole bunch of different ones of these, and I was thinking I've had one of those, but obviously, I'm just thinking out my head. Off-white colored head, pretty much all small bubbles, a little over a finger of head. Um, yellow in color, uh... New England style IPA. Hazy IPA, sure. Looks the part. New England style, hazy IPA, really, what's the difference? Yeah, looks good though. Let's go ahead and smell cashmere hops. Um, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. And I can honestly say from the Simcoe in here, I get that slight garlic onion smell what is that it's kind of like a a sweeter citrus mixed with fruit but i'm still getting that garlic onion I'm never going to get rid of that garlic onion. Yeah, like kind of a, a sweeter, low citrus fruit mixed together, maybe a touch of maltiness, garlic onion is what I'm going with. Let's go ahead and taste. That's more like a mango pineapple. Bitterness in the back. Sweeter bitterness. So it's like you get that juicy, I would almost say right down the middle, combination, fruit, citrus, juiciness. In the back of the palate, it's 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 a little bit more bitter. I wouldn't say grapefruit, but I would say grapefruit without like the tartness of grapefruit. Like if you could pull that out, that's what I'm going to for that just that bitterness, like that rind bitterness, because it's not it's not orange. It could be. But it seems like there's a, a little more there than just orange. A 
What is that cashmere doing? I can't remember the last time I had a beer with cashmere. Peach? No, that's a Zaka. It's, it's kind of like a mango pineapple peach. Like, if somebody said that mango pineapple peach with skin, I could kind of see that pretty much throughout the whole entire palette. But the, there's a rind bitterness, a pine bitterness... Something in the back end. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I just put a whole bunch of yeast in there. It's kind of light. Like a little too light for the flavors I'm getting. Like it's... I know it says hazy IPA, but the flavors almost like lend itself more to that New England IPA, that juicy citrus, that juicy fruit in there, but it's light. So that's kind of what takes me back to hazy IPA, but it's like too light for the flavors. Like it's not balanced. Huh. Huh. It goes down easy though. 3.75 out of 5. Um, it works. I want the body to be heavier. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because that mango, that citrus is coming through. Um, and it just like goes down almost. It And it's not even like, I was going to say almost like oats. It's, it's not even slick. It's like it drinks... What did I say? 7%? Yeah, it almost drinks like it's 5%. And even the 5% beer I had today was thicker than this one. 3.75 out of 5. Let's go ahead and check on tapped. I almost want to read this. Deadhead IPA series. Did it say Deadhead? No. It must just be the picture. Um, our drive in that haze features Pilsen Malt, okay, Pilsen, Pilsen Malt, Flaked Oats, Vienna, Cashmere, yeah. It's not really, yeah, tropical and citrus fruit, there you go. Yeah, uh, Technically, if I had to go by exactly what it said, I would say it's on. Now, the only thing, Malty Melody. I would say there is some maltiness in here. Uh... I need to brew more with Vienna. Isn't Vienna a higher SRM so it's it's sweeter? And maybe that's what it is? Because your pills and malts is almost going to be nothing in SRM. Is that a 1.2? 1.2, 1.4? Something like that. The flaked oats, I can kind of see that. But like I said, it's not, it's not like it's slick. It's just light-bodied. Pills and malt's going to do that. Vienna, I can't remember. I'm going to have to add that to the list to brew. But per this, tropical and citrus fruits, spot on. Um, I'm still going 3.75. I want more. I want more bitterness. I want a thicker beer. Uh, I think it's too light. It's not balanced well enough. But per this... They made exactly what they wanted. Let's check untapped. Four of my friends have tried, or checked it in. 3.88 out of 5. Almost 13,000 people have uh, rated this. 
Wow. Hazy, citrus, soft, bitter, earthy. Take that earthy out of there. No, it's not. Let's see if anybody said anything. No. I'm not looking at everybody else. Definitely want to go pick up and try. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.